Hi everyone and welcome to eclipse2024.org. This website has a lot of information about the upcoming eclipse on April 8th, 2024. Specifically from this website, I'll be showing you the eclipse simulator. So how to, to navigate there, you will go to the eclipse simulator tab and click on 2024 total eclipse. This will bring you to an interactive map for the 2024 eclipse. It'll show you a map of North America and the path of totality for this eclipse. So first thing we will do is find two locations that one is in the path of totality, so it'll experience a total solar eclipse, and another that is outside the path of totality and will experience a partial solar eclipse. So we'll zoom in to where this path intersects Canada. So the first one we'll look at is Montreal because it is in the path of totality. So I'll enter Montreal in the search bar and I'll click on the first option and here it'll highlight where this is. So the eclipse in Montreal will be total. So it tells you that in Montreal you'll experience a total solar eclipse. So we'll want to launch the eclipse simulator for Montreal. This is the second link here and I'll open it in a new tab. The second location I'll look at is Toronto because it is just outside the path of totality. So I will search Toronto and click on the first option. So again, it tells you that the eclipse in Toronto will be partial instead of total like Montreal. And I'll click on the second link to launch the eclipse simulator for Toronto. Feel free to explore this map and see which cities are in the path of totality and check whether you are in the path of totality. So first we'll look at Montreal and then we'll look at Toronto. So Montreal experiences a total solar eclipse. What I'll first do is zoom out so that we see the whole scene. Once you're zoomed out, you can click on this scene option to adjust the scenery, the landscape. You can be at a beach, in the city, you can be in the mountains. I'll leave it here for the sake of the tutorial, but feel free to explore the different options. On the left hand side, there is a zoom option. So you can zoom in to see a more close up view, zoom out all the way to see the whole scenery. You can also do this with your mouse or your touchpad. Some other options you can adjust is you can hit the play button on the bottom left side to see what the eclipse would look like at real time um, as well as speed it up to 50 times regular speed you can slow it down to 0 0.1 times regular speed you can also not even use that function and adjust the time using the time bar on the bottom of the screen so doing this you can adjust all the way to eclipse maximum and then all the way out of the eclipse as well. And we'll take a closer look at the eclipse maximum in a moment. So when you're just at the beginning of the eclipse, you'll still see the sun in the sky. So this is what you would see if you were looking at the eclipse with eclipse glasses. If you didn't have eclipse glasses, you would see a glare. And this glare option you can turn on, you can toggle it at the top of the screen where it says glare. So this is what it would look like without eclipse glasses. Just another note, please always look at the sun using proper eyewear, including eclipse glasses and eclipse viewers. Do not look at the sun without proper safety equipment. So this is what it would look like with the glare without any eclipse glasses. If you are using eclipse glasses or viewers, this is what it would look like. And I will toggle the outlines where you can see the outline of the moon and the sun as the eclipse progresses. So zooming in on this, you can see this circle is where the moon is and then the sun is the filled in circle. And as the time progresses, you can see how the two overlap as totality approaches. So right here, this is just before totality, this is right before the maximum of the eclipse, 
If I toggle on the glare again, you'll see that there's still this huge glare. The sun still contributes a lot of light and this is very important to note in terms of safety. You do not want to be staring at the sun without protection, but even though the moon is blocking out a lot of the sunlight, it is still not safe to look at the sun without protection. So toggling that off again and toggling off the outlines, we can see just a sliver of the sun is visible. Now we can approach the eclipse maximum a bit more. And as you get to the eclipse maximum, this map will show up on the top right side and it'll show how the shadow of the moon is moving across the map. So right now, Montreal is just before the shadow and as you approach the totality, the shadow will engulf Montreal. We'll move closer towards totality. The shadow moves over Montreal. We can fine tune the time using the bar above the time bar. And so this is what it will look like during totality. The sun will be completely blocked out by the moon and just the corona of the sun will be visible. That is what these streaks outside of this dark circle are. Zooming out to see the whole landscape during this time, this is what it'll look like. The sun will be completely gone, just this dark circle with the corona visible, but the entire sky will darken and you will be able to see stars and planets in the sky during the day. So to see which stars and planets are visible, I'm going to toggle on the stars and planets option on the top left hand side. And doing this, you can see which ones are visible. The notable ones will be Jupiter, which will be very, very bright, and Venus. And then close to the horizon, depending on your location, you might be able to see Saturn and Mars as well. So without the names, you'll still be able to see Jupiter is over here, Venus is a little bit lower on the sky, Saturn and Mars are close to the horizon. So this is what the maximum of the eclipse will look like in Montreal since it is a city in totality. The time that this will occur is on the bottom right hand side. You can track the time as you progress through the partial phases to see when the eclipse starts, when it ends, when it reaches maximum for Montreal. Moving to Toronto, you will experience a bit of a different eclipse since it'll be partial you won't hit a maximum like montreal does you will see a partial eclipse at maximum so we will progress the time all the way out to just before the maximum and again on the top right hand side you can see where the shadow of the moon is in relation to toronto as you progress through the eclipse you'll notice that Toronto never actually falls within the shadow, it is just outside. So this is what the maximum would look like in Toronto with eclipse glasses on and toggling the glare again, you can see that the sun will still be very, very bright in the sky. It will dim, but it is not safe to observe this without your eclipse glasses on as some sunlight will still be visible. So toggling this off again, we can zoom in to see just how small a sliver of the sun is visible. This is the sliver of the sun that will be visible during the maximum of the eclipse in Toronto. It is a very small amount, however, still unsafe to view without eclipse glasses or proper viewers. We can toggle the outlines to see how the moon overlaps the sun as well. So toggling this off again, zooming out some more, we really do see how much even a partial eclipse will dim the sky in comparison to what a regular day with sunlight looks like. So bringing this back out to before the maximum, this is what the day would look like, very bright and sunny. Zooming it back in towards the maximum, the sun and the sky will dim, it'll become dark and even though we won't reach a total eclipse in Toronto, it will still be very dark and a very unique experience. Then moving out of the maximum of the eclipse, it will reach partial phases once again until about an hour later, it will reach the end of the eclipse. 
So this has been the Eclipse2024.org simulator, which again, you can access by going to the Eclipse2024.org website, going to the Eclipse simulator tab, clicking 2024 total eclipse, and it'll take you to the interactive map. And from here, you can search which location you'd like to see the simulator for. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial, and I hope you can use this to explore what the eclipse will look like in the location that you are observing it at.